one way to ultimately find real happiness is going to be taking that first initial step towards recovery. Now, that first step is always going to be acceptance of what happens, recognizing that you did nothing wrong, you fell in love in a very natural and human way. Unfortunately, you fell in love with a deceitful, conniving turd. But in the end, you were deceived. The person you fell in love with doesn't exist. It was an illusion. It was a game of psychological evil and deceit. And accepting that is going to be your first step to real happiness and recovery. Now, you've been in a situation with someone that you were very much in love with who had absolutely no capacity to love you. So consider getting a dog. Now, if getting a dog is out of the question based on where you live, volunteer with one of the animal shelters, the SPCA, one of these types of places where you can spend one-on-one -on -one time with a beautiful sentinel creature that has nothing but the capacity to love you, absolutely an overwhelming ability to love and love unconditionally. Now, when you're stepping out of darkness in such a horribly depressing situation, for me, uh, one of the things that I find is just a great step towards happiness is growing things. Now, I've got loads of indoor house plants, but all my plants are food. Now, I find kale to be just the prettiest plant ever. Curly parsley, uh, lettuce. There's just so many wonderful plants that you can grow indoors. And um, you can eat them. And that's a lot of fun, you know. In all that darkness and all the gloom and all the despair, you know, and it just feels like a completely hopeless situation. You know, as my plants are coming to life, and of course they're all organic, uh, they're just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. I'll tell you another one that's really pretty is rhubarb from seed. And um, I just think that it's just a wonderful way to replace all that gloomy death with life and something very exciting and something you've grown with your own hands and something you can eat. <laughs> Connect with an old friend today or family member. Um, get in touch with somebody who thinks very highly of you, and I bet most of the people in your life do. Now, sometimes when you've been bombarded with a nonstop, relentless barrage of all the horrible things that are wrong with you, um, getting in touch with somebody that can remind you of some of the wonderful, wonderful qualities you possess is a great step towards happiness. Do something to educate yourself today, whether that's a night school course, uh, taking up a second language. There's lots of ways to do this. In fact, YouTube is absolutely bursting with wonderful uh, educational documentaries. Uh, look for something really hot and, and on topic right now. Uh, the World According to Monsanto is a great documentary. Seeds of Death, these are all very current and very, very timely video or documentaries, so they're a little bit older. They certainly uh, reflect what's going on today. And um, whether it's a little night school course, you do something online, you read an educational book, watch a couple documentaries, always remember, knowledge is power. Do something today to increase your knowledge bank and gain a little extra power. Always consider that part of the road to happiness is going to be uh, a mind that is uh, well-fed. And the way to get your mind well-fed is to get your body well-fed. So today, put down the Coke Zero. Put down those Diet Pringles. Get yourself some microgreens, some super greens. Do something really, really healthy for your body today that tells your body that you love it and you're going to feed it well so it can be strong and healthy. You might want to try writing what I call a cremation letter. Now, a cremation letter really just kind of uh, it details what happened, how I felt about it, how it affected my life, and how I am going to make the changes to correct all of that. Now, after I do the cremation letter, I take it outside, I throw it in my chimney, I set it on fire, and just let the ashes blow away. Just let it all blow away. Now, if you recently got free from your narc, I will guarantee you that your narc is in some kind of a 
pretty raunchy smear campaign against you, okay? This is just part of the ongoing evil. But you know what? If you've stepped away from it, don't let it affect you anymore. You know, I imagine Trevor's got his new victim just pinned there, held captive, while he does this nonstop, relentless barrage of what an evil witch I was. Well, that's fine. You know, I have no control over that. I don't care. I know in my heart exactly what happened, and I know the role I played. I was a good, faithful, loving diligent partner in every way imaginable. I allowed my own personal happiness, safety, and well-being to be sacrificed over and over again. So I have no control over that. you got to pick your battles. Now, if Trevor needs very much to do that, I recognize why he's doing it. He's doing it because he's absolutely lost control of me, lost control of the relationship, and now that he can no longer control any aspect of my life, he is desperately trying to control how people perceive me. This problem, not mine, knock yourself a douchebag, I don't care. During your relationship with the uh, evil narc, there's a good possibility because the narcissist needs so much attention. Many of us, most of us, gave up our own personal hobbies and interests. Now, do something to make yourself happy today by picking up something that was important to you before. You know, it may be uh, joining a group, doing some volunteer work. Uh, painting, gardening, whatever it is, just start working your way back to uh, something that makes you happy. One of the things that's really, really going to um, impact a change towards happiness is going to be a little exercise. Now, if you don't feel like rushing out today to join a yoga session or belly dancing class or, you know, get a membership at the YMCA, that's fine. You know what? That day may come. But for today, don't be moping around. Don't be sitting on your ass. If you don't want to go for a long walk or a run, just get some natural movement. You know, get up and down the stairs. Get moving around your house. Walk to the store instead of driving. Try and get a little exercise. Now, this is going to do a lot of, of wonderful things for your body. And uh, the biggest thing that it's going to do is going to get you putting one foot in front of the other. You're going to sleep better if you get a little bit of exercise. And you know if you've slept well, you're going to be thinking better tomorrow morning. And uh, you may have been thinking some happy thoughts by tomorrow morning if you get a little exercise today. God bless you guys. I hope you are all safe and narc free. Peace be with you all. Thank you so much for watching Kim Wilson TV. And remember... This is a group effort. This is a collective. We're going to get through this, guys. We really are. There is a bright light at the end of this tunnel.